Joining us now to discuss how raising the roof is addressing homelessness as well as the challenges to improving the situation in Canada is Mr. Mark Sovrano, Raising the Roof's Executive Director. Sir, welcome to Forum Daily. Thank you so much for having me. So can you give our viewers an idea of the current homelessness situation in Canada? It's not great. Um, there are 235,000 individuals that experience homelessness, as you mentioned. Um, and housing prices are getting more and more expensive. Uh, out of the G7 countries, there is no other one where the population growth and the amount of housing are as wide apart uh, as they are in Canada. And there's really a lot of work to be done to both create more affordable housing for people to live in and also to prevent people from becoming homeless in the first place. A lot of uh, work to be done indeed, sir. Now, uh, considering today we're marking Black History Month as well, uh, what do we know so far about the proportion of minorities and Black Canadians that currently face homelessness? You know, unfortunately, there's not a lot of data in general about the individuals that are experiencing homelessness in Canada. Um, definitely people uh, from marginalized communities are experiencing it at a far more significant rate. Um, as we're building housing, we're training and employing people experiencing homelessness. And about 90% of the people we're working with from the training end are um, Black Canadians. So, so if that's a representation of the overall uh, kind of population, it, it's, it's, not, it's not a great start. Indeed. And now uh, there are a lot of uh, misconceptions around those who fall into homelessness as well. So uh, can you share with our viewers some of the key causes of homelessness in Canada, uh, especially during this pandemic? Yeah, um, there are really a lot of misconceptions and more so than anything on Tuke Tuesday, we're trying to bring awareness to the fact that this could happen to anyone. Um, our, you know, the response to COVID in Canada has been quick. And I think it's because we could all see ourselves as someone who might get COVID. And, and I wish that our approach to homelessness kind of had that same sort of tone. And I, I, I think connecting people more to the individuals experiencing this is really important. Um, yeah, like in, in general, 80% of individuals that are experiencing homelessness in Canada have seen some form of a family breakdown. Um, so, so really, if we're thinking about prevention, one thing we have to do is keep families together um, and creating affordable housing for families to do that. Keeping kids out of foster care is, is a huge, huge way to, to work towards that. All right, sir, just a, a minute and a half left here, but let's talk about Raising the Roofs initiative. So we talked about the two campaign launching today. Tell us about it and some other initiatives by Raising the Roof to improve this situation. Yeah, so the two campaigns have been going on for 25 years. We have 20 partner agencies across Canada. And when every toque is sold, it's for $15. Half the money goes to the local agency in that city, and half the money goes to Raising the Roof. And what we do with the money at Raising the Roof is we run a program called the Reside Program, where we're turning vacant properties across Canada into affordable housing and using the renovations as a way to train and employ people into construction jobs that are experiencing homelessness. And what would you say are some of the uh, biggest challenges that Raising the Roof is facing in its efforts to provide long-term solutions for homelessness? Really, it's the funding available to build affordable housing. Um, the government's doing a great job at finding more, but it, it's we're just getting started. The land is expensive, contracting is expensive, and it's just an expensive problem to solve. But the cost of supporting individuals that are experiencing homelessness is equally large, and I think there's a real business case to be made to invest in solutions rather than to be paying for the cost of the problem itself. All right, Mr. Sobrano, quick 30 seconds left here, but how can our Canadian viewers participate in these initiatives? I mean, the, the two campaign is all about creating an easy way for Canadians to get involved. I would love for Canadians to purchase their Raising the Roof toque. You'd look great, I promise you. You can get them at raisingtheroof.org, and they're also available at every Home Depot across Canada um, in partnership with the Home Depot Foundation. So you can get them at Home Depot, you can get them online. It's a small way to contribute and to start the conversation.